Can you tell me what funk is, please? It is Funky's UN Challenge, which is all, like basically it's like a group of young people who um, write the report for the UNCRC. To do that, we've got, we just do research and information on an overall question which we decided on in December, which is to what extent do young people access their rights in Wales? It is an interesting thing to do and it, even though it is hard work, it's, it's still fun work in a way. Like you can get a bit, bit, bit like too much, but it is, it is fun work. We um, looked at the roles and responsibilities of us as um, Funk Steering Group members and then the staff as well. The development workers came in and told us a bit about what they do and where they work and how they work with young people. We want them to um, go do some research for us and do some um, exercises with young people to like get some research for us. So they get a bit of info about how they could do that and why they do that. So these are kind of more, if you will, structured workshops. We've kind of tailor-made them so they fit in with the PSE framework the youth work curriculum statement, Welsh back stuff, you know, so kind of, it's got all those different skills that you need, and that's what we've kind of tailor made them to be. They've all got extension workshops if needed, so if someone was really interested around equality and diversity, we could go in and run that session. We've got some follow on work if we were going to see them for five times. Staff, they need to try and get all the like workshops and questionnaire things done. You know, the development workers talked this morning about the sort of work that they do. Mm -hmm. So thinking about how we could fit focus groups into our work. Often focus groups take quite a time and some, sometimes you just have to, uh, maybe two or three points to throw into the discussion and then you leave people to discuss it and hope that they're all going to start talking around that topic. With some of the groups, if you just got them to sit around like this and then threw a statement or a question out, would they naturally just start talking about it? You might have to, it depends, on, you might have to lead them a bit, but then that might like influence what they say. So it's like... The young people's roles is more of like analysing the research and doing the questionnaires and all, but like we also need help from the staff to do all the stuff, to make sure we're doing it properly, and also to help the staff write the report and make sure that the staff have done their jobs to get all the research for us for the ascent, analyse and then produce the FUNK report. Today we have decided on what we need to tell the Grand Council in July. We split up into groups on the second day and we looked at um, ORAFs, our writer's story. That was the last um, report that was handed in by Funky. The steering group discussed what should be chosen for the overall research question and um, after much debate it was decided to use the same overall question because we felt the aim of the project was the same but the content was different. We've got eight different themes um, which are education, health, discrimination. The themes we came up with was number one, <coughs> health, number two, education, number three, knowledge of the UNCRC, Number four, information. Number five, right to meet and safe places to play. Number six, participation. Number seven, discrimination. <coughs> Eight, safety and protection from harm. But we've all got to find out bits about that then in relation to the UNCRC and then produce a report saying if the UNCRC is being promoted and all the rights being met. We did figured out our research methods, which involve things like questionnaires, focus groups, graffiti walls, and we did our questions and who we're going to ask, how we're going to ask them, and what they're going to ask, basically, all together. Yesterday, we looked at the questionnaire and analysed it and decided if it was working, and like what we needed to edit, what we needed to include, and if the questions were suitable or not suitable. We typed it up so it's like looks better and makes sense and everything. On our April event, residential with the Grand Council, we did a consultation with the Grand Council to see like what the methods that we organised in the last residential would work with the questions. So we analysed them and decided if they were good methods or if they weren't so good. You're talking about accent, so so that could be that could be one of the challenges. 
yeah, if the, the if bad diff- points. Um, so if, like, so if, it's, if it's different accents and stuff like that, then you'd be added to transcribe. And it takes forever. I only got 26 seconds. No, 23 seconds. And the bad point could be some people can't express express themselves very well. We can just realise like which one would be easy, which one would be hard, which one takes longest, which one you get the most information out and most research out and which one's most informative, like the one that's most useful to us. But I think the worst one is like draw, pi- drawing pictures to, to represent words because that's when we've got to interpret, interpret that and that might not be what they meant. Put the Xbox and a road. So what does that mean? You want to play Xbox on the road? Oh, yeah. foot- what, says, there's a road there that says football. I got stars on it. So they want to play football in the middle of the road, or yeah. what? You don't know who's saying what, and people are talking over. Can we come back for some of these? Informative <laughs> answers. Yeah. Then on the other side, it's like some silly answers yeah. and yeah, hard to understand. But, but I didn't, I... So I think we could adapt on that by making them draw the picture, but writing about it as well, because it still gets them like involved and interested about it but also making sure we get the research out of it that we want. The transcript that we like recorded people didn't seem to work as well because I myself, when I tried to type it up, didn't try, it's hard to like type people's accents in and stuff, so that was quite hard. Well, I think the question is, is, is obviously the easiest one because like everyone thinks it, it is because just straightforward answers and all. But, um, I think focus groups are good as long as the environment is controlled because it's quite hard to like get everyone's opinion when everyone's like shouting at you. So what do you think you personally got out of it? Um, well, I've made friends. I've gained like a not, lot of knowledge of like what goes on behind the scenes. Like if, even if I was on Funky Dragon, I've never known that it takes this much work just to write a report. And um, yeah, I'm not about the UNCRC and what Funky's all together really.